John, I have a question that I need to ask that's very great, very weird, and I don't know the answer. Okay. Uh, it's from Felicia. It's just such a good question. Dear Anga John, imagine you are standing on a scale, and next to you, there's a bucket of water on a different scale. Mm -hmm. What would happen if you put your hand into the water? How would the weight on the different scales change? Is your hand now part of the weight in the water, so it's no longer part of your weight? Help, I can't stop thinking about this. Best wishes, Felicia. Wow. I can't really help, but someone out there must be able to. This is exactly the kind of BS physics word problem that would break my <laughs> mind and make me give up on a, an entire course of study, but I love it if I, as long as I don't have to actually solve it. Wow. Because I think, I think, I think if you put your hand in a bucket, the bucket gets heavier it has and to. you get lighter. I think so, right? But I think so. Do but maybe not. Do you get lighter? Because do you your hand but you is, can't have the bucket get heavier and you stay the same weight. And you also can't because like my inclination, which would really break the laws of physics, would be that both the bucket and and you get heavier. <laughs> right? Yeah. No. But that's definitely, definitely that, not that. Uh, even <laughs> e even those of us who got these in physics knows it can't be that <laughs> can't be that mm. do, and they can't both can't get do they stay the same it feels like my, like my gut says oh you it just stays the same but my my brain says no something changed because there's now there's more water in the bucket because your hand is full of water yeah I, but i'm but i'm holding up my hand with my arm it's dry, it's gonna drive me crazy i need to see in our inbox next week a lot of pictures of people with their hands in buckets standing on scales yeah well i'm just trying At to minimum five i'm trying to think about it like it uh, i i feel like it i feel like it has to increase the weight of the bucket yeah. but i just can't get my head around how it decreases the weight because your hand is floating now oh yeah but is your hand floating because it doesn't really float because your hand doesn't really float in water but it's its weight is being supported in okay the same all right that, so like, sometimes when i'm trying to figure this stuff out hank what i do is i imagine uh -huh. a much larger situation okay so like imagine a building uh-huh that has an arm <laughs> the building's arm <laughs> has a hand and that hand is in a gigantic bucket of water <laughs> I think this is great, John. This is a great job in your question. If, if you responded I I to me, I, if I was, this is God, <laughs> I, I really <laughs> miss my calling as a physicist. <laughs> I think if, if this was a job interview and I, I threw you this question and you gave me that response, I'd be like, hired. That's the kind of thinking we need. Giant building with an arm, and on that arm, a hand. And in that and, the, and that hand, in a bucket. Now That's it all makes sense, thing. doesn't it? That's, now, it's, now, you, now you see the difference. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm like. So here, here's here's where I went. If I, if you just take a bucket and you put a lemon in it, then that bucket weighs more, right? The lemon, if it was just sitting on its scale, it would weigh a certain amount. You put that lemon in that bucket, it it, it yes. increases the mass yes. of the situation. Yeah. So now you have a lemon man, <laughs> and he's got a lemon arm with a lemon hand. <laughs> we have the same problem though. As long as the lemon is his lemon hand is connected to his lemon arm, I'm not. It's only because I'm not sure. it's only because of the yeah. Lemon is is cut off from his lemon body that the lemon but is it i don't know i don't know i don't know <laughs> that's also a really really good example of lateral thinking <laughs> to be like okay forget about this what if the person was just made out of lemons that changes everything <laughs> The lemon person John, is helping well, the worst me. Part. The lemon person is helping me. <laughs> okay, I, I think it? that the I think the weight of the bucket increases mm -hmm. by one lemon, and I think the uh -huh. weight of the lemon person the has to decrease by, by one lemon. lemon. <laughs> right, right. The, John, I, the worst part of all of this is that we had a chance. We had a chance to have a mascot for Dear Hank and John, and it's the Red <laughs> Deacons and not the Lemon Men. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> I can really picture this lemon person, too. It's, it's really very vivid in my yeah, mind. Yeah, mine, too. Mine, too. It's really good. It's And it would be hard to be a person made out of lemons, you know? Yeah. You would get so many is this, people. In your mind, is the lemon, is the, his lemon head, is it upright or is it sideways? Oh, I, oh, he has many lemons inside of his head. In my oh, mind. he's got a lot of lemons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my, mind, in my mind, he's just a person who's made oh. out of regular sized lemons i'm not imagining like extra but he's, large he's a full-sized lemon man yeah yeah, yeah I thought exactly. he, was, I, he was made out of lemons regular sized lemons but in my head he was small man oh no i was picturing a regular sized person made out of lemons <laughs>
not like a tiny not like a tiny lemon person i'm talking about like you could you could meet and, and right. you would be able to shake hands and look each other in the eyes except for <laughs> the, the hand, obvious reasons um the main thing it makes me think about though is that like the hardest the hardest thing about being a lemon person i would imagine is the number of times per day somebody makes uh when life gives you lemons joke that would be unbearable you know like you'd have to like kind of yeah. carry around a you card just... that says like yes i know i have to yeah. make lemonade out of this situation thank you yeah. so much for your feedback and then on the back it just says do not squeeze <laughs> do not squeeze the lemon man the lemon man three things you need you. to know about me yes i've heard the lemonade joke do not squeeze me and last and most importantly when i put my lemon hand in a bucket of water <laughs> Something happens, and I don't know the, what. The water, Just like you the water don't know what would happen, and the lemon man gets lighter. That's what happens. Those are the three this things tiny you need to know about lemon part of me. me. <laughs> this little lemon piece is is now floating, and so a little bit of my weight is being. I don't know. Somebody get a bucket. Oh my god.